お前にしてやれるのは死だけだなら俺も同じだ来い What's up YouTube, it's your boy Selfless Greens here, back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing y'all one of the most up and coming builds in the game. The two way three level facilitator. This build, I've had it for about a week and I haven't really been grinding because I've been getting my other builds ready for the 1v1 rush event that happened today. Still haven't won it because I got put up against 10 bigs in a row, it was either 10 or 9. And then automatically after that I got put up against a legend. So yeah. But if you wanna make a build a point guard, or you can make it a shooting guard, it doesn't matter. But point guard, whatever hand, whatever number, you're gonna pick the red and blue pop red and green, not uh, blue. And then you're gonna pick the top the the top pie chart, the speed pie chart. So what you wanna do is max out your close shot. Put on 83 and then max out your driving dunk and layup max out everything on shooting and then once you max that out take it down to a 77 on your post fade then for your playmaking just max out playmaking don't put this up because that'll waste your attributes that'll waste your attributes you do not need those 14 playmaking badges or you can get the playmaking badge you can get the 14 playmaking badges but that'll take away the defense on this build. So now what you want to do is put your perimeter defense at an 80, max that out, max out your lateral quickness, max out steel, and put your block on a, at a 49, and then put this on 70. So that way you get 18, you get six, 18, 10, and 18. So you get two, you get 18 and two of your main categories and then you get pretty good badge numbers in the other two now you can go with the fine you can go whatever body type i go to fine because that's my favorite body type in the game uh make it six three i mean six five make it your build six five 175 on the weight you know, minimize the weight so you can get the best acceleration you can and then you're gonna put the wingspan at 78.0.0 i don't know why i said point up but it's 78.0 and then you can pick whichever one you want if you want to actually like snap somebody's ankles with this build really you can put this on playmaker and that that would be good too you can put it on either any one of these but my build i went with shot creating because i want to be able to just drive in step back and put somebody on the floor so now you got the two-way three-level facilitator so now for the badges for this build what you would want to do for the badges is contact finisher probably consistent finisher and fancy footwork or you can put consistent on bronze and fancy footwork on silver and then for shooting you want to have offhand quick draw range extender green machine on silver you don't need it on gold or hall of fame it's the same thing billy basically since you're a shot creator put it on difficult shots hot zone hunter and then preferably dead eye if you don't want if you if you have a jump shot for any other build that works with in, any level of quick draw because i can shoot with silver quick draw so i would have it on silver preferably and jump shot 38 and then i would just put the rest on dead eye but you can have it always like this too but for this i have like that and then that would be my badge setup that would be my badge setup right there and for playmaking uh, quick first step handles for days space creator and unpluckable and if you're trying to grind badges then i would take off the space creator put it on diamond but i'm not i'm just showing y'all what badges would be like after you finish getting the build so what you want to do now for the defense this is the what makes the build amazing in my opinion 
because you can get every single defensive badge. I mean, look at this. You can get you can get all the defensive badges except for like two. But basically, the defensive badges you want to have are clamps, intimidator, interceptor, pick dodger. In my case, on my two-way slasher, I have Rim Protector on Hall of Fame and Chase Down Artist on Silver, simply because I love contesting bigs. Like, whenever I, I was playing the rush today, and I was just smacking the bigs, bro. Like, they would just be going up with it, and I would just snatch block one of them. But you also want to have Rebound Chase on, since you have like a 70, you have a 70 rebound, defensive rebound, and then. If you want to, you can put it on, on pickpocket and then put the other one on like, like rim protector or something or tireless defender. So this would be my best setup for this build. And yeah, that's it for this video, y'all. Actually, nah, it ain't that end of the video. So y'all, I'm going to show y'all what my badges are looking like on this build. I have them at a 79 overall. All I got to do is upgrade one more thing. And that would make a make them 80 overall. But as y'all can see, this build it's overpowered, honestly. I mean, I don't have any park gameplay with it yet because I don't have it anywhere close to being park ready. I have clips from my career where this build is like straight up clutch without the takeover and on cold. But let me just show y'all my progression real quick. So this is what it's looking like right now. Uh, and like see like I said all I gotta do is upgrade one more thing and boom 80 overall so yeah I'm at 80 overall now and this is pretty much what my attributes are gonna look like for like the next week because I'm just gonna grind VC and my badges I'm not spending any VC on this build until I get enough VC for it because as you can see really if I were to upgrade this with, when it comes to free throw, I don't upgrade the free throw. I just upgrade it to a 60 and then I'm done with it. But this is what I would upgrade on this build. I would just do this, this. And I would just upgrade all of this right here. And then on top of that, I can upgrade my post fade to a 50 so that way it's not that bad. And then if I want to, I'll upgrade like this and then this. So really all I need is 120k VC. I'll be good and that that's easy I mean really I can just do a bunch of uh, BC glitches and stuff Ronnie if you're watching this don't bet me <laughs> but yeah I'll be at 88 overall and this build is already OP so yeah the badges I have right now I don't have any finishing yet because I haven't been really driving in I mean if I wanted to I could have a max finishing by now but I've been just grinding my shooting out as you can see Hall of Fame Quick Draw, Silver, Hot Zone Hunter, and Bronze Ranger Center. And my playmaking, I have Quick First Step. I should have put it on, on um, Lob City Passer, but hey, it's all good. I didn't put it on Space Creator, because even though I'm only an 80 overall right now, or I mean, when I first got this badge, I was only a, a 70. And whenever I got my takeover, I would just be doing step backs and snap their ankles anyway, so it didn't really matter. But yeah, I got this. And this is pretty good. This is a pretty good batch setup right here. So yeah. Uh, I got Silver Clamps, Bronze Intimidator. And I'm about to take this build into the Rush 1v1. I'm about to do that. Just so I can see how good this build is at an 80 overall. I mean, if I'm being honest, I might want to just grind up some DC real quick and then go in because there's still four hours left in it. So, oh wow, there's a late three in here. But yeah, there's still four hours left on the event. I might take a break for a little bit and then stream for y'all. But yeah, like right out, actually, right after I upload this video, I'm gonna stream for y'all and I'm gonna be doing on this build just so y'all can see how OP this build is. So, it's been your boy Selfless Greens. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace.